Good evening, uh, friends. Today we are going to discuss biological science. Uh, membrane structure and its special special importance for animal so um, how it is the cell membrane cell membrane as we have discussed in our previous video so it is made up of fatty acids okay fatty acids and this fatty acid at head that is glycerol and this glycerol means uh, the chemical structure CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH. So it is the head portion and bears net negative charge. And it is linked with several fatty acids. So fatty acids, as we have discussed, fatty acids may be of saturated nature. nature or maybe unsaturated in nature so saturated means these are these provide a rigid nature unsaturated means when the unsaturated fatty acid attached by ester bond with this open hydroxyl group it forms so it forms the bond and it forms uh, that is a uh, triglycerides or several type of phospho phospho lipids phosphatidyl choline phosphatidyl serine phosphatidyl uh, amine ethylamine these are several types of lipids and this saturated or unsaturated fatty acid which plays a role during the adaptation of this animal how suppose uh, we are discussing suppose this problem suppose a animal <coughs> is living a particular suppose you can take the hibernating mammals or pond dwelling fishes which uh, or a particular animal living in a uh, uh, desert so what happened that in in a particular time they have two situations suppose it is normal 37 degree centigrade at day time so here the membrane is enough fluidity fluidity is there fluidity enough fluidity so here is no problem as you know we have already discussed the flip uh, 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 the um, um, membrane model given by Singer and Nicholson it was given by 1971 so uh, I want to make a correction of my previous video I have mistakenly uh, told here 1981-82 it is 71 so Singer and Nicholson this model when they give they have given they told that this uh, lipid molecule and are arranged here and the void places 
are or gaps are filled by cholesterol molecule 50 percent of the cholesterol molecule and this lipid molecule and several other proteins so what advantage they get the when the the at this temperature this lipid molecule move from one place to another within a particular within a particular side of the cell membrane or it may move from one plane to another of a particular cell membrane so already you know these are uh, lipid are 35 and strong and there is protein of 20 and strong or here also 20 and strong so it is total the structure dimension measurement but now the problem i am discussing of uh, a particular uh, animal that is residing in a animal our topic of discussion this animal it may be some desert uh, desert hibernate uh, desert moles or whatever so in particular daytime when there is uh, temperature around 37 30 this temperature so their cell membrane is fluidity is there cell membrane cell membrane fluidity is there enough fluid so there are several functions that uh, cell membrane uh, perform it requires enough fluidity but when during the day to night time what happened the as you know as the temperature lowers the fluidity is lost it become rigid by theory by theory transition temperature already in my uh, previous video i have discussed that it become rigid so fluidity is lost due to the decrease in temperature and it become rigid so the chemistry is telling chemistry of this part is telling the fluidity due to unsaturated unsaturated fatty acids fatty acids already we have told the unsaturated fatty acid means lino lake lino lenic these are the unsaturated fatty acid so and such that means this percentage of these fatty acids are high at this temperature and the animal is uh, maintaining this and this become lost because as the growing temperature is uh, temperature is falling down so the cell membrane by theory wants to wanted or wants to become rigid and it for a particular uh, uh, phase it may be it may, it may lost the rigidity so the animal has ad animal has developed some mechanism to revert back or to gain once again at this decreasing temperature its fluidity so how it is done so have you understood the problem first of all you be sure that you have understood the problem okay so what is the problem the animal which is which has a particular habitat in a particular uh, place where fluctuation of temperature is very frequent so suppose this tem temperature of the daytime or suppose in a very cold temperature the always there is very cold so by uh, by the theory you you know that that the membrane should be very rigid rigid as we know that the decreased temperature makes the membrane rigid so the cell membrane has the same constituent in everywhere but as this uh, animal find a new place there is some uh, accordingly the environment the animal changes or adapted itself this is called adaptation the change to the environment for a long time the mechan by by this mechanism the animal remain alive so we are discussing that mechanism so fluidity on the basis of that uh, 
mechanism. So temperature, uh, suppose temperature fluidity. So suppose this is CH two OH, CH OH. All you know CH two OH. So these are the three hydroxyl group. Hydroxyl group. So this hydroxyl group has chances to bind with this fatty acids. Fatty acid. Fatty acid one. Fatty acid one. Fatty acid two. Fatty acid three. So as this temperature at thirty seven degree centigrade, so these fatty acids may be one fatty acid is. has bit of kings so these are some more spaces where uh, fatty uh, cholesterol molecule cholesterol molecule cyclopyrhydrophenanthyl the its main 17 carbon uh, ring so this cholesterol molecule accommodated in this extra spaces so it becomes rigid but due to the temperature change falling temperature suppose minus uh, 5 degree centigrade of temperature at this temperature there is this rigidity in theory is lost uh, this uh, flexibility is lost and it turned into a rigid one so how at this place the uh, at this particular point this uh, this uh, uh, in uh, this changing environment will be encountered by the animal. So these are several adaptation, and this animal, be, due to this uh, uh, adaptation uh, in this animal, these animals are become cold resistant. Resistant. So what are the things it is helping? So first of all, there. Is something called you have to do something that the double bond nature or introduction of the double bond can be done so first of all the animal have adapted or animal have devised some mechanism they have developed some enzymes that can generate unsaturation unsaturation so this unsaturation is generated by desaturate uh, desaturating uh, this saturated fatty acid so the due to this unsaturation that means your saturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids saturated fatty acid will change to will change to some will change to unsaturated fatty acids and the enzyme uh, helping this thing called desaturated desaturates desaturates the enzyme name is desaturates and is found this particular protein that helping this mechanism another thing it is important that sometimes what happened this total fatty acids are replaced so this total uh, uh, some total uh, changes is done that means the total fatty acids are Removed a new fatty acid is brought. This is called acyl transferase. Acyl transferase. And another thing, there is reshuffling that from the lower temperature melting point at this time, uh, lower the melting point. So this is called phospholipase. Phospholipase. This enzyme phospholipase plays a role to uh, the, to change this 
fatty acids from monosaturated to monosaturated to poly unsaturated fatty acids so number of double bond if it increase at the low temperature see all the things you cannot change the environmental temperature in viron mental temperature so the animal had devised something that help he, him to change or to acclimatized to acclimatize the changing environment because on another i am again i am repeating the environment is fixed you cannot change the environment but you can change as an animal for for a long time you are residing in that particular environment habitat so you have changed your cell membrane composition to acclimatize the low temperature which frequently encountered okay uh, probably you have understood thank you